Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand is the Spinning Thing series. We went to NPS and got the weirdest types of wheels we could find, strange skateboard wheels, and the largest bearing we could find. And when that wasn't good enough, we went to eBay and got these guys that are absolutely terrifyingly sized. For size comparison. Human face for scale. It's huge. <laughs> Just the ball bearings are like a half inch. This is going to definitely hurt somebody. So we have the shield set up. We have a few different types of bearings. This one has little tiny rods inside. I think they're pretty go. average sized rods. Yeah, you're right. These are pretty average size. Big even. Big even, I mean. So they all rotate in there and they can each individually rotate as well. Larger bearings frequently are harder to turn because usually you don't want things weighing thousands of pounds spinning at thousands of RPMs. So this one's a little slower, but this guy, the biggest one, is not. And that's terrifying. It is very terrifying. It spins just fine. Hopefully we don't die today. Get ready there, kiddos. It's gonna yeah. be fun today. <laughs> This camera can shoot up to about 3,000 frames per second at a decent resolution, but any higher than that, and you start sacrificing a lot. Why is this the worst menu I've ever, there we go. All right, so we're gonna start with the modified skateboard wheel, the shark wheel. We know the skateboard wheels have a cool reaction, so why not start there? <laughs> People call me earhead. That's like two frames in the iPhone slow-mo. Do you see that go flying this way? Yeah, that's like, Wait, yeah. <laughs> it's in the shot for like it's two It's right frames. here. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at that. That Looking just good. ripped open. The problem here is this isn't all one material. The same problem we had with the roller skate wheels. And that's why only part of it broke instead of the whole thing like a normal skateboard wheel does. Science. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Check this out. Here we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Karma. Can you right in the leg? Look what he did. Oh, zoinks. Zoinks. Oh, it's off its rocker now. Still spins really good though. Oh, it lost a little. Yeah, just the water right on this there. side. We could have mixed the whole thing of resin with that spin though. Sure could have. That thing was about to take off like a helicopter. Yeah, that it was. Not budging. Should be good to go. The bearings came out. And they're very gunked up. Not a ton of damage to the wheel. Like that thing's holding up. Good wheel quality, except the bearing just came out. Poor bearing quality. In their defense, it's not rated for 40,000 RPMs with all sorts of garnet gunking it up. We got a lot of comments last time saying, stop using abrasive. We weren't, it just splashes up from the water. Yeah, look in here. Just right here, almost at just right beneath the surface. You got tons of garnet, so that just splashes up. Well, we got a 
nice scoring along there. No abrasive on that one. So maybe we'll try it with abrasive just to see what happens. You can tell how fast it was rotating on that. So we're gonna try tripling the frame rate. We're gonna get 480p, but we're also gonna get 4,500 frames per second. So hopefully that'll be good enough. A lot more of the paint was removed. After some quick maps, it took 23 frames at 4,500 frames per second to make one rotation. So that's about 11,700 rotations per minute, according to our maths. Yes. Palmer's the uh, math Local major math. here. If it's wrong, you can yell at me. All right, here we go with the three-incher. It's supposed to be slower rotating, so we'll see what this does. It took about 115 frames to make one full rotation. How many RPMs is that, math man? 3,000, nice. almost. You're fast at math. I'm the best. All right, we got Big Bertha here, ready to go. We got our shield in place. I doubt it'll blow up, but just in case. And let's see how fast this goes. Got a lot of math here. Remember how I was moving this four seconds ago and it turned just fine? Well, now it doesn't, it's full of garnet. Well, apparently the answer to how fast a water deck could spin one of these is uh, zero revolutions per minute. Okay, spin it again. We are now doing it with no hole underneath, so no water will splash up and hopefully it won't jam up with the garnet splashing up from underneath. It gunked up again, it's spinning now. We're gonna try something a little risky. I'm gonna spin it, and while it's spinning, Palmer's gonna turn it on. Yeah. Hey. Uh. That thing was cooking. It didn't, right. it didn't even make a dent in the steel. Yeah, look at that. So it took about 160 frames to make a full rotation. 4,500 frames per second, which is about 2,000 frames, 2,000 RPM. So pretty quick, but think how heavy that thing is. Yeah, that's pretty quick. Let's, let's... Okay, attempt number two, we're gonna see if abrasive does anything to make it better. Yes. Two, one. Well, it stopped on us. Ugh, jammed up again. Look at this where it stopped. It got really rough inside there. Owie. You see that right there? Look at this. The inside is spinning with it. Okay, you see it right there? Well, uh, this is probably going to be slower because the bearing wasn't actually turning at this point. So it took... 137. Is that faster? That was quicker, wasn't it? Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Wow, this is gonna be over 2,000 RPMs. Missed it by that much. Well, that answers that.